Hello and welcome into the next verse. My name is George, and if this is your first time here or you've been here before but have not subscribed yet, please do so. And uh, hit the thumbs up button for me and drop your comments. Love the comments. And uh, first thing I want to say is I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, today is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and uh, we were just uh, subjected to a game at Madison Square Garden between the New York Knicks and the Portland Trail Blazers. And uh, it went to overtime. Did not end well. Knicks lost 132-129. And uh, there's many reasons why. For one, uh, the Knicks just sent the Portland Trail Blazers to the free throw line like nonstop. They had, they had 51 attempts. Uh, you know, were most of those warranted? Uh, probably most of them were, but were there some that shouldn't have been called? Yeah, but that's going to happen. You know, I mean... Uh, but there were definitely some calls that uh, were suspicious. Uh, however, that still doesn't explain why the Knicks sent them to the free throw line 51 times, other than they just played poor, handsy defense. They didn't get in front of their guy. They got beat often. So they had to resort to getting a little physical with the, their opponent, and it did not work out. They got called for fouls nonstop. And uh, the main beneficiary of it was Jeremy Grant uh, and uh, Anthony Simons. Once again, you know, I love his game. I wanted uh, us to acquire him somehow, uh, but you know, it would be a tall order now, especially now that he's uh, signed a hundred million dollar uh, plus uh, contract. Uh, but uh, he just has that kind of game that just translates well to the modern NBA. And I want you guys to remember this: Dame Lillard did not play, and we lost. We lost to a Portland Trail Blazers team on the road who had to play in Brooklyn this week before Thanksgiving. So they've been hanging around <laughs> on the road and they came through and I mean, they took this game from us and it's 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 really kind of it's really hard for me to, to digest this one. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys is one play. It's the only highlight I'm going to show you. Here we go. I tweeted this out. Good thing Randall was guarding that empty free throw line. This was a crucial moment in overtime. Crucial moment. The game was 122-119. Two something left. We get a stop here. A score. You know, maybe get, get, regain the momentum. The minute this happened right here. Look at Randall. What's, who's he guarding? What's he doing? Nothing. Meanwhile, uh, Mitch is trying to help out trying to help out to stop Nurkic. Uh, actually, he was trying to help out to stop, uh, I think that's Simons right there. And so is uh, Brunson. He steps up. So obviously, if you are a Nick player and you see two dark jerseys on the guy in the red jersey, you you must be thinking, oh, well, maybe, it's, uh, maybe I need to help out somewhere. But no. Just stands there. You know, because, you know, it's important to defend the free throw line. Okay, Tommy Beard tweeted this out. Uh, Anthony Simons and Jeremy Grant, 82 points on 45 field goal attempts. RJ Barrett and Julius Randle, 42 points on 41 field goal attempts. Simons and Grant almost became the first pair of teammates ever to reach to each score 40 plus points against the Knicks in the same game. <sighs> almost, they didn't, luckily. And then this... Even though OB, and we're going to show you uh, the plus minus stats, which once again, kind of a head scratcher, but OB at the end of the third quarter, you know, we had a chance there to kind of close out strong. And instead, I mean, here it is. OB should have, should be embarrassed by his effort so far. How do you not come away with that bound with seconds left in third quarter? Instead, he gets stripped for an easy putback by Hart. OB playing soft is unacceptable. Obi is playing soft. I, I called it several games ago, and he continues to play soft. I, I At first, I was kind of just chucking it up. Oh, maybe he's caught that RJ cold or whatever, and uh, he just doesn't feel it. But right now, he looks like a guy who just does not to get down and dirty, especially under the basket, and where he can utilize his athleticism and his size to overcome his lack of, 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 of girth and physicality. But it doesn't mean that you let a six foot five guy strip a ball, a rebound away from you. The ball was in your hands 
in your hands. Excellent, excellent moment right there that totally went the other way and gave up two points. And guess what? The game went into overtime. You, you, you pull that rebound down, and then maybe we actually have a chance to win. Also, R.J. Barrett misses key free, a key free throw in, in, uh, in regulation time. He makes both of those free throws. There's no overtime. So, but when we went to overtime, uh, there was a three-point uh, shot was made by Portland. I think it was Nurkic uh, who made it. And then Randall came down, uh, got a nice clean look, hit his, hit his three-pointer. And then on the next possession, he came down and did a heat check. Wasn't even set. Didn't set his feet. No need to rush it. Just heaved it. Nothing happened there. And the Knicks never recovered after that shot. Never. And that other play that I just showed you, that happened after that other play. I, I, I I'm, I'm telling you, I know there's many issues with this team. Uh... It's oddly constructed. However, I just can't stand watching Julius Randle play anymore. I'm sorry. I, I I can't. I can't take it anymore. I can't take when he's, and even when he fucking smiles. It's like, fucking stop smiling. I don't give a fuck that you're smiling, man. How about play to win? And and then there's moments where he has like has incredible moments. You know, he's diving on the floor, getting rebounds, calling team meetings, and then he just reverts back the same bullshit here. I, I don't understand how you guys enjoy watching him play. I don't understand how anyone who's a fan of his actually enjoys the way he plays the game. Yes, is he a man amongst boys often? He is, which makes it even more ridiculous that Jeremy Grant could eat him for lunch like he did. Or dinner, I guess. Or leftovers. Turkey leftovers is how he ate him up tonight. Randall, 23 points, 8 of 19, 3 of 8 for a three-point line. Looks okay, right? 39 minutes, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Mitch, uh, 6 of 7, 12 points. Uh, he had kind of an up-and-down game. He did provide some good defense there uh, towards the end, but uh, his foul trouble kept him off the court, which is why we saw a lot of Sims, and Sims played a great stretch there in the fourth quarter. Uh and then also, look at here. Look at uh, RJ. 44 minutes for RJ. Puts up 22 field goals, the most, tied with uh, Brunson. Only only collects 19 points. 22 field goal attempts, not free throws. Sorry if I said free throws, I'm not sure. Uh, 22 field goal attempts only comes away with 19 points. That is just ridiculous, man. And there were several times I saw you driving, and a couple of times you actually made the bucket, but I'm sitting there screaming at the top of my lungs, find your open teammate. Now, you happen to make those, but more often than not, you're not finding them. Now, tonight you did have five assists, which was nice, but I think you could have had 10. You could have had 10 assists, and we would have won this game, RJ. So there you go. I'm 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 going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it down on everybody in this game. Even, even Brunson. Even Brunson. Gets burned on defense, tries to get charges here and there, which I, he's brutalizing himself. You don't get charge calls that often, so you better make sure you're going to get it. But even still, I mean, his heroics in that fourth quarter it helped tie the game. 32 points for him on 22 field goal attempts, 3 of 8 from the three-point line. Five rebounds for him, but only four assists. He does not create enough opportunities for his teammates when he's on the floor. He's always looking for his own and maybe that's just the situation that he's in he doesn't feel comfortable he doesn't think he can depend on his teammates that might be so but that's not winning basketball and that's even on a night where we get came up with 27 uh, assists which is decent now it is you know overtime so there was extra time there now sims i thought uh he played a, a, an excellent game for in the 13 minutes that he was in there uh look at obi obi one for three all three were attempts were three point shots uh, in 14 minutes. Uh, only two rebounds. He did get one assist, three points. That's it. Uh, big bright spot today uh, is Emmanuel quickly because I was hoping that RJ was going to follow up his efficient game from the other night with another efficient game tonight. Didn't happen. In fact, it was atrocious. Look at that six for 22, one for seven from the three point line. But he did come in with 10 rebounds and five dimes. So that's that's that part is excellent. But you still, you can't force your shots, man. 
find your teammates that are open. They're there. Just like what I said about Randall. Look, if there's two jerseys of the same two red jerseys on you, someone else is open. I get it. You want to be the hero. You want to be the guy who brings the, the win home for the Knicks. Well, guess what? You're not that guy right now. You, uh, you're still recovering from whatever it is. You, you, you don't have that much athleticism to begin with. So anything you lose from a, an illness that kind of brings you down, I'm still dragging, man. It's been two plus weeks for me, and I'm still low, low energy. So I get that. But does it mean you can't be smart about your decisions? Someone who is being smart about his decisions? Emmanuel quickly. Defensively, he did, he did a very good job. He slowed uh, Simons down, even though there were times where Simon was cooking him. Simons is just an incredible offensive player. But look at Obi, uh, 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 quickly did. 18 points, uh, three of four from, uh, I mean, four of 10 from the three point line, uh, four rebounds, five assists himself. Uh, still, he needed 17 field goal attempts to give us uh, 18 points. You know. The efficiency just was not there tonight. Nick shot 13 of 41 from the three-point line, 31.7%. And overall, uh, 105 field goal attempts. I'm only connected on 46 for a 43.8%. Uh, did I miss anybody? Hartenstein, uh, that Achilles thing is still bothering him. He did not, uh, even though his stat line looks decent, but two rebounds in 17 minutes, no. Plus minus. Obi Toppin was on the court during that fourth quarter stretch where the Knicks were rolling. Now, he wasn't necessarily providing much offense himself, but he was part of a positive flow that was happening on the court. And uh, Brunson was on the court then with Quickly. I think it was uh, RJ. And uh, I forgot who the fifth person was. But look at Obi, plus 14. Look at Randall, minus 17. Minus 17. How, how can you consider yourself the best player on the team and be moping and brooding when you're not being treated as one when you are consistently the worst plus minus player on the team? I mean, that's, that's a question for yourself, Randall. When you're by yourself at home looking in the mirror or watching the tape, which you love to do, apparently. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Look at this. Jeremy Grant, 10 of 20, 3 of 7 from the three-point line, 44 points. But it was the parade to the free throw line that made the big difference. In fact, I think I have it here. Yeah, free throw line. Look, he went to the free throw line 28 times. 28. That is just appalling. Appalling, man. And, you know, even though Grant did miss some free throws in overtime, but in regulation time, you know who did hit their free throws? Simons. Yeah. Uh, Josh Hart, uh, I don't even know, but it looks like that should be a career high in rebounds. 19, he did end up fouling out. Uh, they let him get away with a lot of stuff. They let Portland get away with a lot. And uh, I someone tweeted out something about, uh, and, oh, I think it was probably Alan Hahn, uh, that sometimes when uh, teams are, are committing lazy fouls, then the refs start anticipating them and start giving even more calls to the other team than they should. It shouldn't be that way, but that's an interesting comment. I uh, hadn't really thought about it that way, but it definitely did feel that way tonight because the disproportionate amount of field goal attempts is just, I mean, ridiculous here. I mean, let's just go to here. You can see, uh, we put it, we, we went to, they, they made 10 more free throws than we even attempted. How do you win a game like that? Unless you're shooting the lights out from a three-point line, which we weren't. We had the largest lead, 14 points at one time. Even point, we did win the points in the paint, uh, which uh, even that looks feels a bit shocking considering how uh, efficient they were when they got down in there. You know it was? They kept getting foul calls. They could just kept going to the free throw line. Uh, rebounds, we got out-rebounded. Uh, assists, we did win the assist battle. Not, not saying much. This game doesn't really deserve much more uh, analysis other than there needs to be something done very soon. I hope that uh, Leon uh, grows a pair and trades Randall because firing Thibs isn't going to do shit if Randall's still on this team. I don't know if I said this before, but definitely I've been talking about it with uh, uh, my friends and stuff. 
the new coach isn't going to bench Randall. So you have to trade Randall. Have to. It just has to happen. I don't want to watch him play anymore. I don't want to see New York across his chest anymore. I can't take it. It's just, it, it, it nauseates me to watch him play. Because I, I know what's going to happen. I just know. And then, yes, sometimes he comes through and he does some great things. Sometimes. But more often than not, he doesn't. There was even a time, there was a moment there where Mitch made a tremendous play defensively. I think, he, I think he got the block and he got the rebound. And he wanted to kick the pass out to uh, somebody quickly. Uh, uh, somebody fast. Kick it out. Uh, it was in overtime. And he saw Randall. Now, Randall saw him. Now, why wouldn't Randall slow down to give Mitch an easier pass? No. He just keeps going. And Mitch made a bad pass. It's always on the, on the passer's... Uh, any, any errant pass is on the passer's fault. However, that's just a moment there where you can help your teammate out. But he doesn't. Maybe you think I'm being too harsh on him. Well, guess what? Minus 17. Minus 17 on an overtime game that we lost by three. That should say enough. Well, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I wish I wasn't in such a bad mood about it, but this game put me in that. Uh, I really thought, there was a moment there where I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be a nice game. We're going to win this game. The Knicks were playing well. And uh, the minute uh, Obi was subbed out in that fourth quarter, it just went... And he wasn't even doing anything offensively. Yes, you can actually get better by getting rid of somebody and not necessarily even bringing somebody in that's going to make much of a difference. Addition by subtraction. Let's do it, Leon. Let's do it. And I'm going to keep harping on this. And Obi, you got to toughen up, man. You need like a... You need like one of those uh, limitless pills that has like Oakley on it. <laughs> you know, I want to see a beast in there. Your athleticism is crazy. There's no reason you shouldn't be out rebounding people. Or at least battling them, especially when you get the rebound. You shouldn't lose it afterwards. <sighs> Let's hope Sunday's a better result. Let's hope it's a better result or else we'll be down two, ga two games below 500. We're now nine and ten. We had a good chance of being 10 and 9, and now we're not. Thank you so much for watching this. My name is George. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and drop your comments. I want to hear how you guys feel about this game. Definitely want to hear about it. And I will see you around the next bar.